this is an area that hasn't been treated yet. So you'll notice that um, the restoration appears a bit lighter um, than the surrounding original paint. And it's sort of filling in the original paint roller texture. You'll notice that the paint roller creates this very sharp impasto texture. And the restoration is a bit chalky and, and fills in that texture, even though this restoration is um, ultramarine blue in polyvinyl acetate resin, just like Klein's original. Um, because the texture is incorrect, we are perceiving the color differently than the surrounding area. Um, so my task is to first correct that texture and then correct the color. The tools that I'm using um, come to us from the surgical field. Um, there are very few tools that are made just for conservation because conservation is a sort of small field. Um, so we borrow from other fields, um, often surgery or dentistry. These tools are very, very small spoons um, with sharp edges that are used for corneal surgery. These, unfortunately, I have to sharpen by hand <laughs> as they dull um, because Klein's paint is much harder than a cornea, and so it, it doesn't last quite as long as it would in a surgical environment. Klein, to create his perfect matte blue surfaces, worked with a scientist in Paris to come up with a mixture of ultramarine blue and polyvinyl acetate resin. What I'm doing to um, do the color restoration portion of the treatment is actually sampling original material from the back of the painting where the paint has sort of spilled over the edge and onto the back. Um, to get the closest possible color um, for restoring the color on the front. It's sort of like a skin graft <laughs> in a way, taking material from another place and using it on the front. Um, but it is the only way that we've found to get exactly the color that we need, even using um, the exactly correct pigment in exactly the correct resin. Um, it's very difficult to get a color match. So um, using the original material is the closest that we can get. I'm sampling the paint um, dry and then using um, ethyl acetate to re-dissolve the paint. When the, the paint goes onto the surface, it has to dry at exactly the correct rate um, to get the right color. And then after the paint's been applied, um, you'll notice that there is an overall sort of burnished look in some areas of the painting. So um, there's actually a fine refining of the texture after the paint goes on to get that sort of burnished look, which gets, um, you'll notice that when the paint goes on, it's a little bit darker. Um, and then when I go in and refine the texture even further, um, then the, the color corrects. So the burnished surface allows the light to reflect off of these restored areas in the same way that it reflects off of the surrounding areas so that it, it blends more completely, um, no matter what angle the, the viewer is approaching the painting from.